morning everyone, I'm John and this is Rodent Restore and in this video we will be installing a door mirror and a door cord on a Vauxhall Insignia 2009 hatchback. So without further ado let's get on with it. So now we can install our nice new shiny one. So first this has got a lip sort of here so I think we're going to have to push that in first. Locate it. There we go. Gone underneath. No, nope, there's a little bit there. That's it. That's it. The wing mirror is on. But I don't know if you can tell. a different shade of silver. <laughs> so we're going to have to take this plastic thing off and paint it. <clears throat> okay so I'm just going to use this tool to be a bit easier to get the bolts in. There's that one. one nice and tight there we go electrical plug back in there we go put the ignition key in see if it works Bing, 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 yes, and it works perfectly. So now I can put all the door cord back on. Shut up. Okay then, so to get the uh, door cable back in, you will need a lovely assistant to hold the door panel for you. Why you? Relax. Relax, assistant. Relax, let me pull it this way. Resistant, relax, that's it. Let's slide that into the hole, like so. And hopefully we can hook that over there. I don't think you can see much, but... Is that on it? No. I'm not sure if that's right. Yeah, that's right to be and then that's that okay so now we've got the cable on now we've got all these little plastic things back into place now we've just got to try and get this back onto the top of the door yes it might be easier to take those off it's got these metal clips strip off and we'll get onto there. Like so. I think that just goes in there. Like so. Okay, so there's two more. And that one in there. And hopefully that should push back onto there. Okay, so that's the rubber back on. 
I must be able to get the edge of the trim onto them clips. And there is a light at the bottom of this door. Don't put your thumb on it because the bulb is red hot. Guide that through there. straight into the sun. Can't see bugger all because the sun's in the perfect place <coughs> to blind me. And that's it. So that's all that. Now we can put our torque bolts back in. The easy one first. That's one. Should be able to uh, stick this back on. We could push these two edge bits in first. So we've got a white clip out, so let's push that back into there. Like so. And we could put this bit back on. Uh, don't forget to plug the wire back in. to locate this bit down the bottom. There we go. 
And then the final bit is this little bit of plastic trim. It's got two legs so that goes in first. Just drop that down there. Simple. I think you'll agree. Looks a thousand times better, even though it's the wrong shade of grey, silver. Okay, then, so you know me, not happy with the uh, job until it's done properly. So I went on eBay, uh, found this paint company. I'll leave a link in the description. Click on buy it now, and then leave them a message with your paint code, which is usually in your door jar or under the bonnet somewhere. So I did that, just put the paint code in. But they uh, matched it up, sent me this, and uh, we'll go and have a look in a minute to see how good it looks. And then, still off eBay, bought this one. Can brush, recommended by Nat Snacker's Yard. And it is uh, pretty good stuff, I'd say. So anyway, let's go and have a look. Okay, so there it is. We zoom back out. Probably don't show up too well on camera, but looks a perfect match to me. And the lacquer, pretty tough. So yes, we're happy with that. So that'll do for this video. Okay then, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it was been of some use to uh, you Insignia fans. Uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Stay well, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. I see you in another life, brother.